Hello everyone and welcome to the lesson. Today we are going on speaking about our rights and responsibilities. So today at the lesson we are speaking about rights and responsibilities. We enlarge our vocabulary. We are working with listening and we are revising usage of infinitive and gerund. Well, let's start working and Let's have a look at exercise 1, page 48. Here you have got some rights and responsibilities. What rights are there? To be educated, to be safe, to live and work in a clean, unpolluted environment, to be treated with respect. You have some responsibilities too. To respect others regardless of sex, age, ethnic origin and nationality. Not to bully or harm others, to obey the law, to look after the environment. Let's match your rights to your responsibilities. You stop the video and match. Well, let's have a look. You have the right to be educated, but you are responsible not to bully or harm others. You have the right to be safe. It means you must obey the law. You have the right to live and work in a clean, unpolluted environment, but you must look after the environment yourself. You have the right to be treated with respect. In return, you are to respect others, regardless of sex, age, ethnic origin or nationality. I think you managed with this task and there were no problems. Try to speak about yourself. What are your rights at school and at home? And what are your responsibilities? You stop the video and give a short talk. Well, now you are to read the poem and to answer the questions. What is responsibility for the author? And uh, tell if you agree or don't agree with this point of view. I'm only one, but still I'm one. I cannot do everything, but still I can do something. And because I cannot do everything, I won't refuse to do the something I can do. What does the author call responsibility? To my mind, the author means that every little step is important. We all can do something and all together it will uh, give a good result. If we refuse doing something we can, nothing will be done and something can be spoiled. If you agree or don't agree with this point of view is your case, but I, I can say that I agree. If we all do something, everything will be done. If we all do nothing, Nothing will be done. Now, let's have a look at the words connected to the topic. Have no right. Have the right to. Have the responsibility to. Do their bit. Take responsibility for. Stand up for your rights. Try to complete the phrases below 
with these phrases. Stop the video and work. Well, let's check. You shouldn't let your employer make your make you work so many hours. You should stand up for your rights. You to speak to me like that. You have no right to speak to me like that. As the captain of the basketball team, I feel I have the responsibility to go to all the practices. We all have the right to freedom of speech. Who is going to take responsibility for organizing the picnic next week? I think everyone should do their bit for the environment. I hope there were no mistakes and you managed with this task. Working further, you are to choose the correct verb. Stop the video and do the task. Now, let's listen and check. Exercise 5, page 48. 1. No one should be allowed to violate someone else's rights. 2. Jane has been given the responsibility of buying a birthday present for Kim. 3. Many people in the world are denied their basic human rights. 4. Matt knows he was to blame for the fire. He accepts responsibility. 5. Anne often says nasty things to her sister. I think she treats her very badly. 6. Lawyers defend the rights of their clients. 7. I can't tolerate his attitude anymore. I think it's disgraceful. Well, I don't think it was very difficult. Now, people, we are to listen to some uh, people speaking about some problems and you are to choose the correct answer. So, you will hear someone talking about their school days. Why did he feel bad? Some boys at school were bullying a classmate. He got into trouble with the older boys. He waited too long before doing something about the problem. 2. You will hear a woman interviewing a passerby. Who does the man feel should be mainly responsible for protecting the environment? The government, the general public, environmental organizations. And you will hear a woman talking about neighborhood watch scheme. How does she feel about it? She regrets that she can't be a part of it. It's essential in fighting crime. It enables everyone to get involved. Now you are listening. Exercise 6, page 48. An incident that happened at school when I was 10 years old really stuck in my mind. One of the boys in the class was being picked on by some older boys. The rest of us were too afraid to help him because we didn't want to get beaten up too. It went on for ages before I eventually found the courage 
to say something to the teacher. But on the day that I decided to speak up, the boy told us all that he was leaving the school and moving to another city. I always felt bad about that afterwards. Excuse me, may I ask about your views on environmental protection, please? Sure. Do you think the government is doing enough to solve the problem? Well, the laws are there, but they are just not being enforced. I know that people are becoming more aware of the issue, but the problems are still there. What do you think should be done? Well, I've just joined the local environmental group. We do lots of things to help the environment, but the main thing is for everyone to do a little bit every day. To tell you the truth, I wasn't too keen on getting involved in the scheme when I first moved into the area. I don't have a lot of free time, and I usually prefer to keep myself to myself. Anyway, I went along to one of their meetings just to see what they do, and I realised what a good idea it is. I mean, our neighbourhood doesn't have a really serious problem with crime, but if everyone keeps an eye on things, we can help keep it that way. The police can't be everywhere all the time. Unit Exercise 6, Listen page again. 48. An incident that happened at school when I was 10 years old really stuck in my mind. One of the boys in the class was being picked on by some older boys. The rest of us were too afraid to help him because we didn't want to get beaten up too. It went on for ages before I eventually found the courage to say something to the teacher. But on the day that I decided to speak up, the boy told us all that he was leaving the school and moving to another city. I always felt bad about that afterwards. Excuse me, may I ask about your views on environmental protection, please? Sure. Do you think the government is doing enough to solve the problem? Well, the laws are there, but they are just not being enforced. I know that people are becoming more aware of the issue, but the problems are still there. What do you think should be done? Well, I've just joined the local environmental group. We do lots of things to help the environment, but the main thing is for everyone to do a little bit every day. To tell you the truth, I wasn't too keen on getting involved in the scheme when I first moved into the area. I don't have a lot of free time, and I usually prefer to keep myself to myself. Anyway, I went along to one of their meetings just to see what they do, and I realised what a good idea it is. I mean, our neighbourhood doesn't have a really serious problem with crime, but if everyone keeps an eye on things, we can help keep it that way. The police can't be everywhere all the time. Unit 3B. Listening and Speaking Skills. Exercise 5, page 48. 1. No one should be allowed to violate someone else's rights. 2. Jane has been given the responsibility of buying a birthday present. Exercise... So... Let's check what you have done. You will hear someone talking about their school days. Why did he feel bad? He waited too long before doing something about the problem. You will hear a woman interviewing a passerby who... Who does the man feel should be mainly responsible for protecting the environment? He thinks it is the government. You will hear a woman talking about a neighborhood watch scheme. How does she feel about it? It enables everyone to get involved. Managed. Now, let's have a look at the text and remember when we use infinitive and gerund. <clears throat> you might think I am mad, but I don't mind helping with the housework. I quite enjoy cleaning, in fact. Some teenagers get so upset about helping out, but I think we should do our fair share. In my family, 
my brother was always thinking up excuses to get out of his chores. So my mom drew up a chore chart. She is responsible, though. She wants us, she's a reasonable, though. She wants us to take our responsibilities seriously. But if my brother or I are too busy to help because we have exams, for example, she lets us take it easy for a while. So, what do we usually use after prepositions? In form, gerund. Two enough constructions. Too busy to help. Infinity with two. Verbs of preferences like hate, enjoy. In form, gerund. Modal verbs. You might think. Infinitive without two. Look forward to. I am looking forward to seeing you. It is gerund. Let or make somebody do something. It is infinitive. Can't stand, help or imagine. In form. Don't mind. I don't mind helping. In form. How about? How about going? How about visiting? How about sharing? It is in form. We express purpose with the help of infinitive. He stopped to have a look. Want. I want to tell you. Infinitive. Remind. In form. Can't wait. In form. Now, let's have a look at the exercise. Open the brackets, use the correct form. Stop the video and do the task. Let's check what we have got. How about ordering a pizza tonight? I would like to be a politician when I am older. Mom, my mom made me tell her where I had been. It's too late to apply for the job. The closing day date was yesterday. We love playing board games as a family. She went to school without eating any breakfast. It was very unusual for mom to shout like that. There's no point in putting so many things into the bag. It will, it will just break. I'd love to see your new puppy. Dan keeps forgetting to do his chores. You must report the incident to the police, Charles. Do you fancy going to the cinema this evening? I hope managed. Do you? so. What is your homework? You are to learn the words and rules we looked at today, and you are to do exercise 3, page 50 in written. You are to complete sentences. Well, people, that's all for today. Goodbye.